Sometimes you want to separate your data into two data sets. In this case, I've got some data that shows the salary and age of people. And I plotted all of the data on this first chart, age versus salary, this first scatter chart. Now I want to separate the data into two sets, people with an MBA and people without an MBA, and plot those on a separate chart. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I have the two data sets separated, and I'm going to start by selecting salary and age here and drag down on the no MBA side. Click Insert recommended chart get my scatter chart click OK there's my basic scatter chart now to add the other data set I'm just going to click inside make sure you've got the the uh, actual chart range selected the plot area selected right click and then select data the first thing I want to do is to edit this existing data set I'm going to delete that and I'm going to scroll up there and select my MBA, no MBA, and click OK. Now I'm going to add the second data set, series name, it's already in the insertion point, click MBA, and then my X values, these will be the salaries, my Y values, get rid of that hanger on again, the age, and click OK, and OK. And I'll get my chart here, drag it up so you can see it. There's my, my chart. I'm just going to click there to get the plot area, get the plus. And I want to add a legend, which shows blue is no MBA, red is MBA. And then I'm going to click the blue dots, any of the data points, right click, add trend line. And linear is what we want. I want to show the equation and the R square. I'm going to select that a bit, drag it over here, and then I want to format it. I'm going to click on the paint bucket. It's automatic, but I want to change the color to be blue. So that outline is blue. And I'm going to select one of the red data points, right click, add trend line. It's linear to the default. Get my equation. Select the equation, drag it down so I can format it. Go back, click the paint bucket after it's selected, and I want to change that color to red. So now we have our chart, and it shows the legend there of the trend line with an MBA is in red, and the equation of the regression line with an MBA, and of course blue without the MBA. And you can format this further to uh, really make it look good.